Hey, it's Saul Overman. I'm going to show you our new acquisition here, our new Worksman's. Um, if y'all have watched my other videos, I, I really like the Worksman's bikes. Um, we had a Newsboy we featured. I had that for quite a while. It's, I uh, let a nice young lady take that away. It was, uh, she made me an offer I couldn't refuse, so it's gone. But I have a new Worksman's. This is the Worksman's PAV3 trike. Uh, this one's several years old. Um, it has the hub motor. That's a 36 volt, I believe, because that's the way the batteries were hooked up. Here's the battery pack here. I'm, I don't have a 36 volt charger, so I'm having to charge each 12 volt battery individually. Batteries go there. So this is a factory installation on this one of the factory kits they offer. Uh, Worksman still makes this bike. They still offer this bike with several different um, upgrades. A couple different choices of uh, electrical motors can be got with it. You see this one's in okay shape. Um, it's complete. Nothing really broken on it. It rides good. Uh, the only thing it's been stored, not so good storage, close to the beach. Um, so all the chrome has had it. Paint's pretty good. So most of the stickers are intact and fine. This one has the optional trunk. This here, that's actually a factory trunk from Worksman's. I'm going to guess this thing is over 10 years old. Seat's in really good condition. Uh, you get a nice seat with flip up uh, armrests, seat belt if you want. It's three speed transmission with coaster, so it has a three speed drive shaft transmission back here, not a derailleur. Similar to the Shrib, uh, Schwinn hub transmissions that they made. They were three speed. It's more of a heavy duty unit there though. So this thing just has just as many options as you could ever want for to motorize a bike. I mean, you could put a combination of gasoline motors and electric on it. You could electrify one of the, or both of the back wheels. You could actually make it three wheel drive with three electrics. Let me show you the space that you have when you take this trunk off. Put the camera down for a second. I can show the uh... So you have this huge space here for mounting any number of things. More batteries for a single front wheel drive like it is now. Um, you see it runs off drive shaft that can easily be uh, just have another sprocket slid on it and tightened down for to drive the drive shaft itself. Hub wheels are an option. Uh, just about nothing you couldn't do to it. Huge amount of space back here for storing batteries. Plenty of room under the seat for a gasoline motor, and I have seen that done with some 50 cc's. There's another video of a fellow, I don't remember his name, that's got one with a 50 cc Honda mounted under the seat, and that's a good option. So this thing is just unlimited amount of modifications that can be made to it, and it rides pretty fine. Um, just for what it is, I mean, the effort's a little higher than a bicycle, and the speeds are a little lower, but with the three-speed transmission, it actually rides really nice. Um, I think the seat will go back even further with the box off of it. I'm going to have to play with that next. I just got this. I don't have a 36-volt charger. I'm trying to charge the batteries up. Um, I've separated them. They're hooked in series, 312 volts. I've separated them, and I'm charging them up uh, with just 12-volt chargers. We'll see if we can get any life out of the hub motor, any life out of these batteries. I don't know how long it's been since those batteries have been replaced, being they look in good shape. But, you know, I don't know how old they are. I have no idea. So, other than the fenders and the little, uh, the chrome loss on the fenders and this chain guard here, and the pedal set, not much you can do about that. Um, everything else is really pretty easily fixed. I mean, this handlebar rust is pretty easily fixed. So, at any rate, that's the video, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll show you some updates. If we can get it run on the electrical power, we'll do a video then. It's all over, man, saying have a great day. Ciao.